is killer chick. Shonda Paul, some give it to, some give it to, some give it to, to our girls. Five million and forty naughty shorty. Baby girl, I'm a girls, I'm a girls. Shonda Paul say, well, I'm on the way the time. Cold, I wanna be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Hold on, girl, I got the right tactics to turn. Here's a conventional bar of soap. As you can see, when it's dropped in the water, it sinks to the bottom. That means that the soap is more dense than the water. Here's a bar of Irish soap. This bar floats in the water because it is less dense than the water. The Irish soap floats because it has air pumped into it during the manufacturing process. Now watch, as a bar of the same brand of ivory soap is put into the microwave. The soap goes in the microwave for two minutes. Not one, but two. So now watch as the soap changes form. Why does the soap expand in the microwave? This is actually very similar to what happens when popcorn pops. Here's the secret. All soap contains water, both in the form of water vapor inside air trapped air bubbles, particularly important in the case of iron. <laughs> the water that is caught up in the matrix of the soap itself. The expanding effect is caused by the heating of the water that is inside the soap. The water vaporizes forming bubbles and the heat also causes trapped air to expand. Likewise, the heat causes the soap itself to soften and become pliable. This effect is actually a demonstration of Charles' law. When the soap is heated, the molecules of air in the soap move faster, causing them to move far away from each other. This causes the soap to puff up and expand to an enormous size. Charles' law states that as the temperature of a gas increases, so does its volume. Baby girl, can you hear me attack? Well, I'm on the way this time Cold, I wanna be keeping you warm I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm Hold on, girl, I got the right tactics to turn you when air-filled balloons at 273 degrees Kelvin are placed into liquid nitrogen at 77 Kelvin, the volume of the balloons decrease. Charles Law states that a volume of a gas at a constant pressure varies directly with the Kelvin temperature. Now let's see that again. As the balloons warm back up to 273 degrees Kelvin, they return to their original volume. Girl, I got the right tactics to turn you on And girl, I wanna be the papa, you can be the mom Oh, oh Boyle's yeah. law is pressure and volume As volume decreases, pressure increases The equation for Boyle's law is P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2 And now for our experiment for our experiment, we will be using uh, a water bottle, <laughs> and we will be showing you the relationship, how it is inversely relation between pressure and volume, and for our first experiment, we'll show that the volume is this. Volume. And this is the amount of pressure that is exerted. For our next one, we'll decrease the volume of the jar which will then have an inverse relationship on it. Here's the volume. And... More! Oh, oh, my God. God. Gangster! <laughs> <laughs> you see it decreased, You're the pressure <laughs> increased, and the cap went flying. So that is Boyle's Law in a nutshell. Yay for Boyle. Boyle's Law. As the volume of the bottle is decreased, the pressure then increases. Originally, the bottle's volume was much larger, which made the pressure less. This caused the bottle cap to just drop off. When the bottle's volume was decreased, pressure increased, which caused the bottle cap to fly off. Boils law in action. In action. John. And I'm you. And this is Boyle's Law in Action. And the pressure and the volume is inverse. 
put that into English instead of in John language. As the volume goes down, the pressure goes up. Now, we'll put Boyle's Law into action by using Johan and Dan to decrease the volume of this tire and thus increasing the pressure. So, <laughs> Alright, now Dan, get up here. I'm going to show you the pressure. Approximately 15 pounds per square inch. In the experiment, Dan and Johan sat on the tire, thus de decreasing the volume of the tire and increasing the pressure of the tire, which corresponds to Boyle's Law. The relationship between the pressure and volume can be seen in this graph, which represents Boyle's Law. <laughs>